Our gang was always kind of an idealized version of American youth. So I think you see that in their ingenuity. They were always putting on a show. They were always inventing their own car. And so they were very, very ingenious kids. And so it was very idealized, I think, in a lot of ways. As a little kid, the most interesting films seemed to me to be the ones that starred people like Laurel and Hardy, Charlie Chase, and our gang. I just fell in love with the stuff and wanted to know more, not only about the films, but about the place that made them. It seemed like it must be just a wonderful place if the films were this great. And it began a lifelong love affair with the Howl Road Studios. I remember I asked my parents uh, to take me to whatever neighborhood those kids are in. I wanted to find those kids, be part of that uh, group, because they were such enterprising kids, making their own fun, real kids doing real things. And my parents laughed at me, of course, and said, well, y you can't find those kids. They don't, these are movies. Uh, th th they were made uh, 20, 30 years ago. They're, they're our age now. They're all grown up. I was so disappointed. There isn't enough time or tape or film for me to adequately convey all the reasons why I think these films are special. Um, first of all, Hal Roach comedies have unmistakable charm and style. And sure, you have spectacular gags and laugh-producing slapstick, but you also find heart in these films. You find real people, people that you like, authentic people that you can identify with. My father's generation, and he died a month short of his 100th birthday. My generation, and I'm 82. Uh, my son's generation, he's 56. My grandson's generation, they're in their 20s. All have been attracted to the Little Rascals, the our gang comedies, all. And I never understood why. Well, I think it's irresistible. I thought the whole series was. I mean, it was of the time. If you're lucky enough to live in a neighborhood where there are kids playing, spend some time watching them. They don't care what race they are. They don't care how old they are. They don't care what their religion. They don't care anything like that. They play with each other. And this is, is what Hal Roach, in his vision that he saw, he saw kids doing just that. And he took that and made the Our Gang comedies. So they, they live forever. Stymie really kind of explained it. He said, we were so innocent. We were doing things that the older people wished they had done that the younger people want to do, and we did. And we got away with it, and there was no meanness in it. And I think that's true.